Are you ready for a 911 emergency in your home? First, realize there are many potential delays before 911 arrives. Traffic, speed bumps, and access into your neighborhood. Once responders are near the home, street signs and visible reflective house numbers become life-saving devices once 911 is called. For more information, go to readyforrescue.com. Hello, welcome to Chef Tobias Cooks, here where we have kitchen conversations with professional chefs, cooks, home cooks, bakers, oh, and people that just can't cook. So join us every week for our kitchen conversations and learn a thing or two. And I don't burn nothing in my kitchen. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Calling 911 at night creates a new set of obstacles for responders. What was visible during the day becomes invisible at night. Anxiety builds on the caller and responder. Replace old house numbers with larger reflective house numbers for increased visibility. Remember, if you can't see your house number at night, neither can 911. For more information, visit readyforrescue.com. This is Barbara Berrigan Perea with Delta Flows, a radio show by the voice of Stockton and Restore the Delta. This is the weekly radio show where we discuss everything Delta related, the environment, water management, water quality, farming, history and culture, public events, recreation, Delta food and the arts. Tune in to Delta Flows on KXVS, the voice of Stockton, streaming live on Facebook and YouTube at KXVS Radio. Here at KXVS. Broadcasting casting from Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. Da 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 sha ba di da do da 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 sha da ba da di da 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 sha da la da di da do da 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 sha da ba da di da 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 sha da ba da bi da do da 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 sha da ba da bi da 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 ee sha da ba di da da sha tu ba is Hello, 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 Stockton 209, how are you? Chef Tobias Cooks here with Kitchen Conversations, talking 209, culinary world, and latest trends. Yes, we are back for another week. Thank you for joining us. Yes, here we are. So we had an excited week. This week was great. We ended it with Black History Month and we ended it with Chinese New Year. And of course, there were lots of great yummy foods out there. I had a chance to get some barbecue. (laughs) Barbecue in the wintertime. (laughs) It was really good. And I also enjoyed some jerk chicken as well. Mm, Barbecue, shout out to Ham and Fam, Bam family, they provided the barbecue this weekend at an event that we attended with the Junior Owls. It was great. We had some great smoked meats. Smoked meats. It was delicious. Of course, I had the chicken. Of course. It was good. (laughs) Thank you, DeMarco, for the smoked wheat meets this weekend celebrating Black History Month. Also, I did get a chance to go to the Chinese New Year celebration out on the 209. It was great. I had some chow mein. I love chow mein. I'm sorry. I am just a chow mein kind of girl. It was really exciting. I got a chance to get some uh, Chinese New Year good luck candy as well and uh, meet up with some friends from San Francisco that I was excited to see this weekend. How was your weekend, Alex? It was good. It was good. Had uh, had some sports sporting events I went to. Uh-huh. Uh, got some, had some good food as well. Did you get some chili dogs? No. I don't really <laughs> like chili dogs. What? <laughs> A sporting event and no chili dogs. <laughs> Hello, uh, turkey sandwich. Oh, turkey had. sandwich. Was it uh, hot, cold? Explain it, cold. it to me. It was cold. Oh, okay. No lettuce, tomatoes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't put. This might sound weird, but I don't put any mayonnaise, mustard, or anything on on my bread. Oh, okay. I just just eat it. Yeah, that's good. Something wrong with that. You had tomatoes, right? Had well, tomatoes. there you go. That and was cheese. your that was your flavor. Yeah. The tomatoes. You know, tomatoes with a little olive oil, olive oil, salt and pepper, a little lime on it. Mm, yeah, goes a long way. It does. It yes. Does. Or uh, pesto. I put pesto on. Oh, I love like pesto. pesto. I love pesto. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Actually, I wanted to ask you something that I, I seen twice. I'm, I'm checking videos, going through Facebook, and I and I see you standing up, getting an award. I wanted to ask you about that, and then I, I get the paper, and it's the African American Legacy Luncheon. Yes. What what is what is going on with that? Well, you, you didn't tell me. <laughs> You know what? Um, yes, no award. I did receive an award this weekend at the Legacy Luncheon, African American Luncheon at the Maya Angelou, yeah, the uh, Maya Angelou library. library. I was very, very excited about that. Also nervous too. I'm like, what? They're honoring me. <laughs> and get used to it. <laughs> It's going to keep happening. Yes. Well, I'm so excited because thank you, Miss J online. She uh, put that all together. Her and Maya Angelou Library in Stockton. Please look them up and support them yes, and their support. events as well in the 209. But I received the award along with uh, Tashanti of the OWL Movement and uh, Valon Smith of Natural Dew, Evan Wade, a professor at Delta College, mm -hmm. Montreal Hill, which is a veteran. Uh, thank you for your services. We applaud you. Thank you for serving our country. Um, I think he said he served for about around 20 years. He served in our country. Thank you for that. For uh, Tamisha Vardera, I hope I'm not mispronouncing your name, for work, uh, her work with the women's and children's health here in the 209. Nine, and also uh, paying uh, tribute, uh, rest in peace, please, to the late Reverend D. Um, Marilyn Fullard, and also to uh, Gwendolyn Primus. Uh, so it was, it was, it was great. It was an honor uh, to be standing with uh, these great leaders in two all nine. Um, so I was, I was very honored. So thank you very much. Yeah. Salute you. Thank you, Miss J. Online. Please check her out as well. So, yes, we have a great, excited show for you. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and then we'll be back with our guests. Please, please join us for our guests. I am very, very excited about this, as I am every week <laughs> <laughs> about our guests because it's about food. But this is something that's very special and dear to my heart, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So please come back and join us on Chef Tobias Cooks with Kitchen Conversations, talking with the 209 chefs, cooks, caterers, and all of the food business, right? Right. <laughs> See you in a bit. Thank you. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? The importance of your house number is critical to the future of your recovery and health. The longer the response time, the longer the recovery time. Faster 911 response times are directly related to improve 90 day recovery. 10,000 lives a year could be saved as a result of a one minute time savings. Save a minute, save your life with reflective house numbers. For more information, visit readyforrescue.com. My name is Miriam and I am the voice of Stockton.
here at KXVS. Bro, 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 bro. Broadcasting casting from casting. Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in Better Futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest? Here at KXVS. Bro, 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 bro. Broadcasting Casting. from Casting. Stone Tube Studios Casting. is the voice of Stockton. Hello, hello. We are back. Chef Tobias Cooks with Kitchen Conversation here in the 209 where we are talking with chefs, cooks, caterers and everyone else in the culinary business and the culinary world along with the latest trends i am excited of course i'm always excited for every guest that come on because i am honored and blessed you. that you have accepted our invitation to come on and talk about this wonderful thing so we're going to get into it we're going to spend most of our time talking about this and doing some samples because this is something that i grew up with a lot of you knew that i spent a lot of my summer vacations winter vacations my early school uh, years in louisiana my mother's family my grandmother my great-grandmother my great auntie oh, nice. all the church Everybody. ladies yes <laughs> all the church ladies that i grew up with and this is something Thing that they did every year every single year that they've done my grandmother lived in California briefly and she would do this I would see her do this I would see the rest of the church ladies my godmother um, do it as well so when um, I found out that you did this I was so excited yeah, so yes yeah. let's get into it let's let the 209 know what wonderful culinary talents we have here I'm excited so we are going to introduce Chef Leisha Barnett yes at Chef Leisha Barnett on Facebook Chef Leisha Lee on Instagram and Chef Leisha on Twitter you spell my name L-I-E-S-H-A all right yes. So what are we here for today? We are here to talk about food preservation. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I am a chef, but I recently became yes. a master food preserver in 2016. And what I really loved and mm -hmm. what drew me into being a master food yeah. preserver mm -hmm. was really, like you said, all of the things about the old school, about what our grandparents did. And yes. I remember seeing mason jars in my grandmother's house and everything like that. And I didn't know at the time how special and important those things were, you know. So as I honor my ancestors, my people, this is what, what I learned to do. And it's lots of fun. All right. So say it again. You are a chef. Yes. But in 2016, you became a, a master food preserver. Yes. Ah. And that happened through the UCANR. Yes. Through uh, the UC, David, uh, UC, California UC system. Okay. So we will talk about that a little mm -hmm. later. If you are interested in this, um, and this is something that you grew up with or you want to know how to do it or how to get involved. We will provide that information for you later in the show. But right now we are going to get down on the get down, as they would say. <laughs> now, I grew up with seeds. Okay, Alex, I'm sorry. I forgot to ask you. You know about preservatives? Yeah. Uh, you know how to preserve? Yeah, we uh, 
Canned peaches. Yeah, there you go. We call it canning. I was trying yeah, to get the yeah. proper yeah, word yeah, for yeah. it. You know, trying to be professional <laughs> again. But we all, us country folks, it's you still know. still canning. People still call yes, it canning. Yes. We are yes. country in the heart, but we live in the city, yes. right? Well, Absolutely. technically, we're still we're in the country. We're a little bit in the country. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the country. Me yeah. and my family, we live out a uh, French camp in the Tika oh, yeah, area. Yeah, you're over there yeah, where so the, uh, the we're, farmers are. Yeah, we're, at the, mm-hmm. we're right at the farms along with the cow farm oh, well. yeah so we are we're essentially in the uh the farmers and that's something i'll be talking about later as well because we're we will we'll be doing a farm in 2019 so of wow. course we'll have you yes. out there yes. but so alex you know my can what is your favorite can i'm canning um oh my gosh peaches peaches or, or pears <laughs> Uh-huh. Interesting. Pears are, pears are really, really great canned. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Really, I never knew about pears. Mm-hmm. So, would you like you do the whole process for pear? Like, yeah, you could do? Do the same thing with apples. Mm-hmm. You would peel them and mm-hmm. you can them the same way in a water mm-hmm. bath canner, and you can spice mm-hmm. them up. Then mm-hmm. people like to do spiced pears mm-hmm. with cinnamon and cloves, or you can use a basic profile okay. so that you can add it to things later. It's what really about pear brand- brandy? You know that happens too now. <laughs> Maybe that's the church lady. The that's the church Maybe lady drink. Uh, <laughs> alcohol is a part of the food preservation yes. process, so it's one of the things that. You know, you can do. Wonderful. So tell us before we get into what you brought for us, the goodies, uh, tell us in the 209, what are, we have so much available There's here. There's an mm-hmm. abundance of produce and fresh things available here to uh, preserve with. We are just really, really lucky to be able mm-hmm. to have all of these things available. It's just really amazing. Uh, the seasons, persimmons are one of the really popular things that yes. people like to preserve a lot. Mm-hmm. We tend to have tons and tons of tomatoes and other fresh fruits and vegetables, and we can grow things a lot all year long. Mm-hmm. So apples are very common. We do a lot of workshops with apples and lemons right here in San Joaquin. So let me stop you right there. I like apple butter. Apple butter is amazing. Yeah. Is it's that even better when you make it yourself? I know <laughs> it is. So apple butter, a lot of people are not familiar with apple butter. Those you are, can you give us just a tad bit brief, brief experience? It's it's an experience. <laughs> apple butter is something that it has to be experienced. It's mm-hmm. not applesauce. It's thicker. It's richer yes. and it's smooth and creamy. And you can spread it mm-hmm. and dip it and put it on so many different things. And it's nice and sweet. And and it's just mm-hmm. really good. So seasons. Uh, when I was growing up, a lot of like my grandmother and. Uh, I call them the church ladies. Um, They would prepare, like if it was summertime, they would get fruits and vegetables then, and then they would can it for the winter. Is that something that still can be done? Can we prepare for seasons, or can we can it? And how soon can we use it if we do pair it? This is definitely something that you want to do during each season, and you can take it's better when it's fresh and you can in the fall that's when the apples the summer we have tomatoes and peaches Mm -hmm. and other items and and fall is also persimmon time too so you want to do it in the season so that you get the fruits and vegetables at their ripest at their best and it's not just canning you can dehydrate too like i drive my own that's another story Mm. that's another yeah we have to bring you back for that (laughs) that's something different Cause I dehydrate myself. Yeah. Yes, I do. I it's do. I've, I've been doing it for 15 years now. Wow. Um, I guess when my oldest daughter, um, many of you know, when she was younger, she had uh, food allergies, um, and of course, then we didn't know what it was. We didn't know what gluten free was and all that. So I um, got into that as well. Right. Um, uh, one thing uh, I was gonna uh, say to you: What is your favorite thing to can? That's a hard one because <laughs> as a chef, you know, yes. we like everything. We find we usefulness do. in everything. Yes. And that's what the canning is, mm-hmm. you know. But what is your quick go-to? 
My quick go to is always salsa or tomatoes. Yes. You can do so many things with mm -hmm. tomatoes. Like yeah. if you have to. Look at Alex. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's good. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Give him your information one more time. Chef Leisha at Gmail is my email address. You can find me on Twitter at Chef Leisha Lee. At Chef Leisha Lee on Instagram and Chef Leisha Barnett on Facebook. Yes, so let's get into it. Come on. Yes, so I see here that we have. Go ahead and introduce it. We have kombucha. I have several flavors. Uh -huh. This one is a Say it again. Kombucha. And give us a little brief kombucha description. Kombucha is a fermented tea drink. It's ancient and mm -hmm. people of all cultures have been drinking it for a long time. So what made you uh, decide to get into that? I like the taste of it, but when I took a class in kombucha during my preservation <laughs> training, there was a wonderful woman who taught me how to do it, and her kombucha was so good, and she was very passionate about it. So is it like fermented? Is it? It is fermented. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you use a SCOBY, which is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. And that's what turns the regular tea into a probiotic. Okay, so your information one more time. Chef Leisha Barnett on Facebook, Chef Leisha Lee on Instagram, Chef Leisha on Twitter, and my email is chefleisha at gmail.com. Okay, so if this is something you're interested in, you have her information, I'm going to have her keep repeating her information. We're also going to post it again on the voice of Stockton.org and at Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page for any of you uh, that want to know about how to do this. Uh, we have upcoming events and classes, and we will also talk about that a little later in the show. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. All right, Chef. So which one is this? This is black tea, orange, and ginger. All right, show, show it up to the camera. So this the one mm -hmm. I used black tea. I love these jars. juice, <laughs> and fresh ginger. Alex, you want to try? You know I do. <laughs> All right, let's pass it on. Yes. There you go. So this one is black tea, orange, orange and ginger. ginger. Yes. Look at how cool this is. I love this. This is so cool. And I have these too. I love these too. Yes. And you know, we use them for for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Even ice water. <laughs> Just, <laughs> hey, it's there, right? All right. I'm gonna all right. Tell to me you. honestly. Okay, now. Ready? Be real. I'm watching. And this is the black. Black tea, orange, and ginger. Mm, that first drink, it hits you. <laughs> it gets you right here. Uh -huh. It gets you right here. Look, jowls. you can see you can see my face changed. It puckers up. Yeah, mm -hmm. you pucker up with that one. It's something you drink when you're feeling like under the weather or something like that. Oh, yes, kombucha man. is good for gut health. So what you want to do is get a couple of ounces in it of of it in you every single day to keep oh, you balanced okay. out. And when this you are good. sick, orange juice and ginger are really good for when you're feeling under the weather. So that's a great one for that. This is really good. So this is black tea, orange, and ginger. Yes. I'm gonna have to get like about six of those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously, this so you're taking the probiotics. Right? Yes, it's, it's way more uh, inexpensive. It's more economical. Mm -hmm. to drink kombucha and mm -hmm. make your own than to buy those pills and always have to take probiotic pills. All right. And then the next one I see. This is chai. And this I is love a chai. straight chai brew. And show us this one. This one has a nice amber color. Yes, look at the clarity like the on this as on well. One. I don't know if you could and that, I didn't see this add in the camera. Too. So but the look at the clarity on that. The will come through really nicely in that one. That's something that we look for in beverage. Just to let you know, FYI, they always look at the clarity and the color. It's really beautiful. And it's very eye appealing as well. So, but chai, I love chai. Yeah, chai has a lot of spices. So if you're not a fan of the spiciness, then that one might not be for you. But. I like it. That's the I one like drink this. I get at Starbucks, a chai tea latte. Yes, oh, me okay, too. But I get nice. the soy, the soy yeah. chai tea. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is much better. I like yeah, this. this. Now, this can I zap this in the microwave? You can heat it. It would change it in the, pot. the mm -hmm. chemical balance of the probiotic, though. Mm -hmm. So you typically would drink this as a room temperature or cold drink. All right. But now, it tastes good enough mm -hmm. for you to want to heat it up. <laughs> so it wouldn't hurt if you drank it warm. Okay. And then the next one, I like the chai, but I'm still stuck on the black tea, orange, ginger. Like, oh, good. 
We're going to have to We're going to have to Take another sip That one <laughs> she, did, she did encourage us A couple of ounces Right Yes You can have more Oh look this at this one so how pretty Green tea blueberry Hold that one up So with this one I made mm-hmm. a green tea Blend mm-hmm. A green tea Kombucha And I put frozen blueberries In there So you mm. can flavor Your kombucha Several different ways With the orange one It was orange juice And fresh ginger This is frozen blueberries Just added to Regular green tea like kombucha a little blueberry At the end I, I, Yeah I gave you A little blueberry mm. <laughs> That was good too Let me have a little bit more You want a little more Of this <laughs> Just one Just a tiny bit more <laughs> <laughs> That one went so fast That's good It went so fast <laughs> And this one again is the green tea blueberry. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to tell you something. I'm not really a big fan of green tea, but the yeah, I don't know. I've just never been a fan. I'm a black tea kind of girl. Okay. I love the English black tea, mm, the breakfast yeah. tea, but I never thought to include blueberry in green tea. It really is my favorite combination wow. to put blueberries mm-hmm. with green tea. Now, I love the blueberry. I love blueberries. I love the flavor of blueberries, but the green tea kind of gives it a little heightened. It kind of gives it a little They're bit a little more aesthetic. Mm, behind it. Yeah, yeah, the fla- flavor. So that's why I said I'm not really a fan of green tea, but the blueberry with it kind of makes I think there's me, a yeah. balance, mm-hmm. and that's where the, the chef mind comes in when I'm creating mm-hmm. these things because I know the flavor profiles of different things. Yes. And, you know, you can kind of balance it all out. Okay, so let's go through this again. We have the green tea with blueberry. Mm-hmm. There's orange, black tea, and ginger. We like this one, huh? That was your favorite. <laughs> Look, I was just telling a- Alex what was our favorite. Alex, chai. what was your favorite, Alex? And here's the chai. The, the black tea and ginger and the, the green tea and blueberry. Those are two of my favorites. Oh, things. those are, yeah. yeah. So now this one is my favorite one. Mm-hmm. This is hibiscus, green, Ooh. strawberry, and orange. And this is the one that will get your kids to drink kombucha. Okay, so it's, it's a lot sweeter. Explain the hibiscus for people that are not familiar so, with that flavor. Hibiscus flower is it, it? It gives you a sweet mm-hmm. base for tea. It's really, really. It's a beautiful mm. red color, and it's a very sweet tea. I can smell this. <laughs> so mm. since when you're you can't just use herbal tea for for kombucha, you have to have the other tea as well so I mixed it with green tea hibiscus and then just for fun strawberry and orange this is sitting on the porch kind of drink yes uh, it's a su- very summery this is a real like church that? lady kind of drink <laughs> yes I am a church lady yes minus the, the tea. hat so. yes sip the wow. tea I love it now this brought back some memories that made you think of the church ladies in this the really South. this brought back the real well you memories. know how this yes. is a very southern thing mm-hmm. that's where you know before we did yes. strawberry soda we did hibiscus tea it almost has the reminiscence of a good thing. lemonade. Yeah. 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 It does. It has a great. Yeah. Like now, that See. I never thought of. That mm. is it. Okay, we're not going to talk about I'm that no more. We're going to brand that. <laughs> right. That's ours now. Yes, that's Alex. ours. That will be. And you know, we're going to call you back for the summer for this. <laughs> and I'm going to say, look what I made. Yes. I, yes. This is divine. Can I smell that again? And yes. go ahead and go ahead let us know what it is again. This is hibiscus orange mm. strawberry and green tea so there are frozen strawberries in here a splash mm-hmm. of orange juice mm-hmm. and then the kombucha with the hibiscus and the green tea kombucha all right so i don't want to butcher butcher the name kombucha kombucha k-o-m-b-u-c-h-a and give them your information again chef leisha lee on instagram chef leisha on twitter Chef Leisha Barnett on Facebook. All right. I am so excited about this. So we are going to take a quick break. And then Chef Leisha is staying with us on the second half of the show. Yeah. (laughs) So we have some great announcements. She has something special for us. And also she's bringing back one of my favorites. We yes. talked about and this, And I have right? a surprise still. Oh, I love surprises. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I love surprises. Yeah. I am not the kind of person to say, please don't surprise me. <laughs> surprise I like surprising me. other people. I don't like surprises. That's very Yes, funny. so you can also see us live on the voice of Stockton.org. Uh, you can tune into our Facebook page and also our YouTube page. Also, I will go ahead and replay this on Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page. I am excited. Chef Tobias Cook's here with Kitchen Conversations. We're going to go ahead and take a break and we will be right back for the second half of the show. Please come back and join us. I am so excited because we are getting ready to taste my all-time favorite cannon. Can you guess what it is? No, no, don't give it away. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Reconnect with friends on RTD. A new route is opening soon with Bus Rapid Transit Express service across Midtown Stockton from Franklin High to the DMV. Ride for free the first week of service from January 28th until February 3rd. Come hear all about it at the Children's Museum on Thursday, January 25th at 4 p.m. Visit sjrtd.com slash express to learn about Midtown Corridor Route 47. The places you can go on RTD. Faster. The places you can go on RTD. Reconnect with friends on RTD. A new route is opening soon with Bus Rapid Transit Express service across Midtown Stockton from Franklin High to the DMV. Ride for free the first week of service from January 28th until February 3rd. Come hear all about it at the Children's Museum on Thursday, January 25th at 4 p.m. Visit sjrtd.com slash express to learn about Midtown Corridor Route 47. The places you can go on RTD. Faster. The places you can go on RTD. Welcome back to The Cat Show. Up next, we have Nico. Nico is a member of the Shelter Pet Group. That's right. A group known especially for their sunspot sleeping, ball chasing, leg rubbing, couch purring, bed leaping, and of course, companionship. Wonderful. And what breed would you say Nico is? I'd have to go with a tabbyish Persian kind of mix. Tremendous cat. I'd also like to point out her coat's wonderful mix of colors. Is it black, gray, gray, black, brown? Somewhere in between. Indeed. You know, it's always special when we get to see a cat like this. Just look how she struts. It's like she owns the place. And how she's so incredibly cute in her indifference to commands. A strong-willed feline. Ah, and see how she curls up and cuddles her person. The pitch on her purring is simply perfect. Nice one. I know. Fantastic cat. Fantastic indeed. But really the best way to know an amazing shelter pet like Nico is to meet one. Visit the shelterpetproject.org today. Adopt. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States and the Adams. KXVS Broadcasting from Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. Here at KXVS Da 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 sha ba di da do da 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 sha da ba da di da 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 sha da la da di da do da 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 sha da ba da di da 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 sha da ba da bi da do da 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 sha da ba da bi da 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 ee sha da ba da di da sha tu ba is good. Hello, hello. We are back from a short break. Thank you for coming back. Chef Tobias Cooks with Kitchen Conversations here in the 209 with the voice of Stockton.org. Please go ahead, log on, check us out live on the voice of Stockton.org and Chef Tobias Cooks Facebook page. We are back with the second half of our show. I'm so excited. We are about to get into it. Yes. So again, our guest. Chef Leisha Barnett on Facebook, Chef Leisha Lee on Instagram, and Chef Leisha on Twitter. All right. So if you missed the first half of our show, we were talking about kombucha. And we had all these wonderful, amazing tastings. We're going to go ahead and recap on that. But let's get into 
your favorite? Is yes. this what you want? Yes. You want the chow chow. Yes. She wants the chow chow. Say it again. She wants the chow chow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my all time favorite canon preservative, preservator, whatever you want to call it, in the mason jar. This is what I grew up on. Now I now I researched it, you know, because I try to research stuff and give you history, Mm -hmm. but there's really like, I don't know what the real, there wasn't really much information on it. All I know is that it's a Southern favorite. Um, It's a Native American favorite. It's an African favorite. It's a Portuguese favorite, a Spanish favorite, (laughs) all the great, uh, the Dutch can, uh, all the great uh, favorites of the South and the East Coast as well. Um, When I was in Louisiana, we had it. When I went to the East Coast, people talked about it. When I went to Texas, people talked about it. And now California, uh, people talk about it. So I am so excited about this. So let me stop talking. Everyone has their own, too. They're all different. And so this one I made, and it's got lots of great stuff in it. There's cabbage and lima beans, green beans, carrots. You ready to taste it? Yes. All right. And I like the one with the okra, too. That's like my favorite. I love okra. I love okra. I love okra. Can I get a t-shirt that says I love okra? (laughs) Okra is a beautiful thing. Yes. Look at this. I can smell it. I'm so excited. I want to grab it. Look go. at this. Can we just get... Look, yes, I mean, get a good can look we, at like... That. Can you see... Look at this. This is amazing. And there's more where that came from. Yes. In case you were wondering. And we can do this <laughs> all year round. Yes. Yes. Because Chow Chow mm-hmm. is regional and people can decide what they want to mm-hmm. put in it, it is really something that you can do all year round. You can use frozen vegetables. There's okra in here, huh? There's no okra. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah. I like fresh okra. I know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Got to wait till okra season to put the okra so, in. So. Chow chow. Yes. On there. Cha-cha. I was calling it cha-cha. cha-cha. <laughs> okay. So chow chow. Uh, a little bit more about it. You can eat it with. A lot As of a people, chef, like a what would you pair it with? Put it on different things. It traditionally folks like it as a relish, you know, on top of okay. sausages and things like that. But you can eat it like she's eating it right now. Mm. Boudin, yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> Something on the side. And it's and it's mm. pickled, which historically speaking, kind of with the fermented things, mm-hmm. the pickled items mm. are accoutrements to other things to help in aid in digestion. That's where it comes from. So every culture mm. has their own way of making it. She's rocking back and forth. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm on the porch. In my in my mind, I am on the porch, okay? And right now, all my ancestors just came up. All the church ladies, you know, they just came around. You know, all my church ladies are not with me anymore. So I call myself the last of the church ladies. Oh. So anyway, um, the flavor is amazing. It's kind of like sweet, tart, vinegar. I taste the lima beans. I taste the crunch of the carrots. But I'm really excited because of the onion. The onion has a really great crunch. I love onions. I love the flavor of onion. I, onion. I don't like the onion to be overpower. Right. But this onion, it's kind of like it's uh, tr- uh, translucent. A little bit. It's almost like it's sweated. Like the flavor is kind of sweated. That but was it's, intentional. It still yeah. has a nice bite and a nice crunch. So what do you think? I like it. It's, man, I don't even want to put it on nothing. Mm-mm. <laughs> have, it on, have it on the side. I'm just mad at these little cups. Like, <laughs> my spoon is almost bigger than a cup. Look. I, I like, tried to be all like professional. I'm not trying to be all have samples, samples, but it, it's, I guess I needed bigger cups. This is delicious. Um, is there a Dollar Tree bar where we can go and get some little <laughs> containers, little containers. Sp- split it up and take it home? Oh, that's how you know she's from Oakland, people. Yes. Right there. She wants to go Do get the Do we have containers. a clean spoon? Yes. Okay. This is wonderful. Thank you. I am just honored that you brought my favorite. I love this. Now, my mom makes something... That she called, I believe, Chow Chow, but it's mm-hmm. just cabbage and black pepper. Oh, she called oh it yeah, the, there are so name. many variations to it mm-hmm. that okay. people do whatever they want. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I haven't told her to get something like that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know, mama, look what I got. <laughs> I'm looking like a little kid, like, what's that? Okay, so this isn't. A We're gonna put this right food. here, okay? I brought something because I am a chef, and even though I love to preserve foods, I also I have to cook. Yes. You know, anytime I have the opportunity, and it's crab season, so <laughs> I brought, and, and I know she loves crab, so this is live. She hasn't had this yet. This is risotto with shrimp and crab. Okay, wait a minute. Say it again. Risotto with shrimp and crab. You gonna pass out, chef? <laughs> yeah, don't pass out, please. Don't. Oh my god! Don't hurt yourself. There's is this that was lump made. Crab? It is lump crab. Oh yeah, get some of that risotto. Yeah, with, with parmesan <laughs> cheese and white wine. I am a foodie. And garlic. Here you go, Alex. I'm. Oh, you right, gave right. it to him right. first. Yeah, yeah. You know, Sharon is caring. Sharing <laughs> is caring. You gotta take care of your people. So let's get that. We're gonna go on a quiet pause real quick. <laughs> Chef Tobias good. Cooks with Kitchen Conversations here on the Voice of Stockton dot org. I am about to get into this. All right, now this Come is on. a real reaction. I want to see you eat it. There's silence. Mm. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> She's still eating, mm. so that's a good sign, right? Mm. I'll just taste the parmesan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I should have did this off camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm about to show much. them who I really am. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> Be mm. yourself. Be yourself. Here goes shrimp. Uh-oh, she's going in. Hmm. So I think I just brought them lunch, you know. I think you did. I think, you know, with all, all the, the drinks the and the, yeah. <laughs> the chow chow oh, yeah. and the risotto. It's a little like mishmash of, of stuff, but I, I can have this that one, right? is yours. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, that is You know, yours. Barb, can I share something really brief um, before we run out of town? Time, run out of town. <laughs> <laughs> with food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was in culinary school, I went back to culinary school when I was 37 years old. I tell this story with my fourth child. And the first thing that I learned how to make in culinary school is risotto. Oh. Now, I've made risotto before in the past, of course. But in culinary school, we had to make it the correct way. It took me forever <laughs> to learn how to make risotto yeah. the correct way. So risotto is not for the faint of the heart. It is not for an amateur cook. It is something for you to practice doing it because you have to get the right consistency. It can't be overcooked. You don't want it to mush together. You still want the flavor of it. Um, and a lot of risottos start with the same base of, of course, oil or butter and the onion, and then you build it on the sauces. Mm -hmm. What I appreciate about the risotto is that you can the parmesan cheese which is like the base paramount yes of a good risotto i love the fact that the crab is lumped it is not shredded throughout and i could tell that you really clean the greatness out of those shrimp because <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you a secret the way to know that the, the shrimp is really clean you can't see here I can see it in my eyes though, right here but when you get that butterfly on the shrimp when it's like goes real big and out that let you know that they took out the time to really clean the shrimp and also it's one color it lets you know it's a great shrimp. And when you see the shrimp that's really nice and, and plump, because if you overcook the shrimp, it'll yeah. shrink down and, and get, get kind of talk. But when I bite the shrimp, it <laughs> still has the shrimp flavor to it, you know? So I love it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Very so tasty. Thank yes. You. Yes, I am so excited she could cook. <laughs> that would have just been heartbreaking. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Think All about right. me getting ready, saying this better mm-hmm. be right. Is that something else over there I see? I brought uh, a large jar of what the kombucha looks like Ooh. with the scoby inside of it. Oh. That's the culture. That's, that's what makes it. Amazing. Yeah, that's what turns the tea into kombucha. That is what gives it the probiotics right there. It's kind of like a science experiment Mm -hmm. (laughs) all its own. I have quite a few of these at home. Okay, so before I go back, uh, I'm I'm really going to get on the porch when I get home. I don't care if it is raining. (laughs) I'm going to be in my happy spot. Okay, so let's talk about some up-and-coming events. That you're having, how yes, can people get in yes. contact with you so for classes? Get in touch with me, mm-hmm. you can call me at 510-967-7304. And I am hosting a class in April oh, for hey. kombucha where you will learn how to make kombucha mm-hmm. and flavor it. So you can email me at chefleisha at gmail.com for more information on that as well. That would be April 21st. Also, as right, well right. as um, any other oh I left here with you a gift basket oh. for a listener <laughs> that includes three different flavors of kombucha that we tasted here as well as a gift certificate for $50 off dinner for two a $250 value wow yes. and this is where I come into your home and I lay out the table and the tablecloth the candles the wine all of that for two people all right do you hear that yes my kind of <laughs> chef yes. she left us with gifts Gift certificates, say it one more time. Gift certificates for dinner for two of $250 value. Um, you get $50 off of that, as well as three different flavors of kombucha that we tasted here to take home with you. Nice jars with cool lids. Yeah, and we look forward to hearing from the listeners, the, those who have been watching you taste it. Yes. <laughs> I am excited about that. So, in order to receive those prizes, you have to like Chef Tobias Cooks Facebook page. I will put up that information again on there, and I will sh- tell you how you can win that value. I'm excited. I'm not going to cheat and win it myself, right? No. I'm not going to set my husband up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so again, go to Facebook, Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page. I will put that up today on how you can win that. Yes, I am so excited. I'm happy that you came. Thank uh, you this, for having me. This just warms my heart. Yes, it I'm brought so back memories uh, for me. Uh, like I said, I grew up with the church ladies. Um, the canon is uh, something that's a part of, you know, our culture, our American culture. You can yes. find it in just about every yes. culture yes. Um, of, of canon, from fresh fruits and vegetables to uh, pretty much jams. Jams, yeah. jellies, jerky. You can make, mm-hmm. you know, jerkies and fruit leather. I actually, when I make my jams and jellies, I turn yes. it into fruit roll-ups for the kids. Yes, so. absolutely. And that is something that's uh, great, something that we need, especially now in this flu season that we are going through. And um, it's a lost art. It's almost a lost yeah, art. Is. You know, that's why I went into a pastry, because it's, a, it's almost like a dying art. It really is, yeah. and I can't really do the pastry thing, so yeah. I give everything to you on that. <laughs> yeah, the decorating is just not something. My stuff might taste good, mm-hmm. but it's not going to look like it needs to be in a window somewhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not my pastries. No, no, no. I had to work hard on that, trust me. I really did. That's a real skill. That's I learned from the best, and a shout-out to San Joaquin Delta College culinary program where I went and graduated from all the culinary program as well as the pastry program. They have a wonderful program so I have to uh, you know give them the credit for that. Also uh, my grandmothers of course and all the church ladies with the caramel cakes and the German chocolate oh, cakes and the see, peach cobblers. Yes. Ah, yes thank you. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yes so again 
Your information? Chef Leisha Barnett on Facebook, Chef Leisha Lee on Instagram, Chef Leisha on Twitter, and Chef Leisha at gmail.com is where you can find my email and you can give me a call, 510-967-7304. And then for the classes again on April 21st. Is the class for? For the kombucha, April 21st. All right. And again, I will put that information up on Chef Tobias Cook's Facebook page. Remember, if you want to win the gift certificate that Chef had honored us for, $250 value, um, the result of, um, no, I'm keeping that one. Sorry, boo. No, mm, no. Mm, that's mine. <laughs> But that will also be up on Chef Tobias Cook's page. I will have the details on how you can win that. Please go to Chef Tobias Cook's on Facebook. Uh, get that information so you can find out how you can win that value. Thank you so much. Thank you for, having Thank me. You for coming on the Voice of Stockton. Uh, dot org. Uh, you can check us out live. Also, Chef Tobias Cooks Kitchen Conversation. We will have our video up as well. We went to go visit Vegan Outreach. We had a wonderful time. They did a great potluck. It was all vegan food, and we had a wonderful time there. So that video will be up as well on Chef Tobias Cooks Facebook page. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. You had a good time. I'm out. I did. <laughs> I'm, I might have to sneak some of that risotto, though. Okay. <laughs> Get out. Enjoy Stockton. Enjoy Stockton Culinary this weekend. Please find a 209 event. Find a restaurant. Find a chef, a cook, and support 209 Culinary World and latest trend. Let's get out of here. Yes. Thank you. At KXVS. Bro 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 broadcasting. Broadcasting. From Stone Tube Studios is the voice of Stockton. Here at KXVS. Bro, 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 bro. Broadcasting from Stone Tube Studios is the voice.